Hello, my name is Jeremy Shearer. I'm a Senior Partner Solution Architect here at AWS, and I am part of the Oracle application on AWS team. My role is to help partners and customers successfully migrate JDE application workloads to AWS. Today, I'm gonna to be talking with you about how to modernize your JD Edwards database. So we have our JDE database here, and its primary purpose is to service the JDE application running on our WebLogic servers, our middle tier servers, all of our different servers where the JDE application is run. But in addition to that, it's also serving other purposes. We have ETL jobs that are running out, pumping data to different places. We have reporting jobs like with BI Publisher that are you know, pulling data out of the system. We have all sorts of other bolt-on solutions that are reading data from this database. So often when we go look at a JD Edwards database and do an assessment of how that database is being used, what we'll often find is that more of the workload is coming from these sidebar, these sidecar bolt-on applications than actually from JD Edwards itself. So that presents a modernization opportunity for us. So what we can do is we can take this JDE database, whether it's SQL Server or an Oracle database, and we can use our DMS service, our database migration service, to actually replicate that data into a modern cloud database like Amazon Aurora. Once we get this replica of the data into Amazon Aurora, we can actually repoint these sidecar applications, we can start doing our ETL straight out of Aurora. And we don't need to do it from our JD Edwards database anymore. Our BI publisher, instead of hitting the JDE database directly, can pull out of Aurora. These boltons can all be repointed to the Aurora database, thereby offloading the workload from the JD Edwards database itself and making the workload more predictable. In addition, we can modernize. Hi, Jeremy. Hello, Kiwo. Welcome to my video. I'm recording a video on database modernization. I thought, did I just hear JD Edwards and Aurora? You did, you did. So I'm talking about how we can offload some of this workload off of the core database over to Aurora so that we can help maintain the performance of the JDE database and don't have to grow it to support all of these different bolt-ons. And I was just about to talk a little bit about modernization when you joined the video. So why don't you introduce yourself real quick? Sure. Hi everyone, my name is Keval Shah. I'm the Senior Manager for Partner Solution Architecture team focused on Oracle Labs workloads as well as uh, innovation. So Jeremy, did you know having the data into Aurora opens up a whole bunch of opportunities for our customers to really integrate the JD Edwards environment to the mainstream, mainstream enterprise-wide data lake house um, environment on AWS. I did not. The focus of my video was all about all working with these sidecar applications, but that is an interesting twist. Tell me more. Tell me about that. Yeah, why not? So having the data into Aurora, we have our native services like AWS Glue, which are the ETL services that can extract data out of Aurora and put that into services like S3, which is a data lake environment. Right, right. And from S3, there are some native connectors that can be used to move the data into Amazon Redshift. And by the way, the glue also doubles up as a service that provides the data catalog uh, for our customers out of the box. So w when I'm talking about ETL here, Glue is a potential replacement for some of our older ETL solutions that are hitting JD Edwards today. Potentially, but we'll have to review them on a case-by-case -case basis. Interesting, interesting. Yes, and not, not only that, we also have some of our advanced services like Amazon SageMaker, which provide native connectors to Aurora for to perform 
the predictive uh, analytics as well as solve some complex business problems using our AI and ML services. So artificial intelligence, machine learning, we can actually apply that to our J.D. Edwards data set. Yes, through Aurora. Through Aurora, wow. And to top it off, we also have some uh, analytics and visualization services like Amazon QuickSight, which integrates with, with Redshift to read the data and help build some very interactive reporting and visualization. And that's not all. By oh, the way, oh, 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 wait, wait, wait a second. I only have a very limited time for this video, and, and this is some very interesting information where I can, where I was intending to talk about moving the JDE data into Aurora, you know, moving some workloads over there to offload. You're talking about a whole modernization opportunity, leveraging all of the capabilities of Amazon. This requires a deep dive. I this completely is, agree. This requires yes. its own video. Let's do that. Let's schedule a deep Why not dive, time? digging into all of this for a future video. Let us do that. I look forward to it. All right. Well, thank you for crashing the video. You are more than welcome to crash anytime. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching this video today, and be on the lookout for our data op or data modernization video coming up in the near future. Thank you. Thank you.